physical crunch is going to work rectus abdominis. It's going to work internal and external obliques. It's going to work some lats um, or back, as well as rhomboids and traps. So it's going to work a full body as well. You're also going to have some leg work, but that's really not the focus on the bicycle. Um, the focus is really the internal and external, external obliques. So um, abdominals, but more the side part of the abdominals. When we do the bicycle, there's a couple things that you want to keep in mind. Uh, the legs, when we take the legs out, let's just do the lower body first. One knee is going to come in, and the other leg is going to go out. It's going to lift up off the ground six inches. So when we do this, and then we're going to switch it through. Good. We're just doing the legs, and switch through again. So the big thing with the bicycle is that the knee's coming up. The, the knees are staying close to each other, so it's almost like we're trying to brush our inner thighs past each other so that everything's sort of staying close to the midline of the body so the legs are not getting out wide because we want to keep everything real focused in on the abdominals. So the legs should be flexed. You should be sending energy through the legs and out the heels. Good. You can relax the legs for a second. The one thing is, is if these legs are, are bothering someone, um, or you're having trouble with keeping the legs going, you can always just keep one leg on the ground and one leg out. Um, you can keep this leg up, right here, on the ground, sorry. And now hover this one six inches and just do a regular, uh, regular twisting crunch with it. But we'll go over that in a minute. Upper body wise, you can just uh, keep your feet there. Um, you're going to twist the torso. In order to work the obliques, we have to lift it and we have to rotate the body. So we have to rotate through. So what we want to do is have him keep his shoulder blades back. You okay? Keep going. Keep going up. Keeping his elbows back. He's going to try to get that um, armpit to the knee. So it's not so much about trying to twist all the way over. It's trying to keep this up and twist this over. The other thing is, is we want to keep this shoulder blade right here off the ground as much as possible. So that twist is happening, and he's lifting as he twists. He's lifting up and twisting at the same time. And go ahead and relax. So now, if we put this all together, it's going to make it even harder because you have to control that upper body and the lower body at the same time. So go ahead and tabletop your legs, and we're going to lift the upper body, and we're going to go ahead and drop one leg and twist, and then switch through and twist. Now keeping those inner thighs brushing past each other, keep going, good, and we're twisting, keeping those shoulders open, and open, and open, excellent. So someone that might have trouble with this is, again, someone who has any lower back injuries, um, potentially shoulder injuries, or weak abdominals. Again, anything that keeps both legs off the ground at the same time is going to put pressure on the lower back and the abdominals. So again, the, um, the modification for this could just be an oblique crunch. So he can keep his feet where they are, and he's just going to go side to side, oblique crunching, and then down and side to side. It's still going to work the same thing. It's just going to be a little bit easier for someone if they're having back or abdominal issues. So this is still going to work the same with internal and external obliques. Excellent. So if you're an instructor and you're looking at this um, exercise and you're trying to figure out how do I cue this for, for the maximum benefit, you want to think about it in two parts. How can I cue this? One, the legs so that the inner thighs are brush brushing in past each other, the legs are keeping nice and tight, that we're not getting out wide. And the other, the, and then your upper body has to be cued as well. It's a lift and rotation. We're trying to keep these elbows back and out of our peripheral vision while we're trying to get that shoulder blade to the knee. And then when we twist through, we want to make sure both shoulder blades are coming off the ground, that you're not leaning on this lower shoulder blade. So we're trying to get this one up and off at the same time. So the legs, the inner thighs brushing past each other, the twist, the lift and rotate, and getting both shoulder blades off the ground are going to be your modification. Again, like any abdominal exercise, you're going to want to put it in at the end of your workout uh, or towards the end of your workout, mixing it in with other types of abdominal exercises, whether they be flutter kicks or uh, sit-ups or anything else that you can think of abdominal.